All right, some more updates on the opioid litigation. Uh, very complicated litigation. States, local governments, and individuals have sued a number of the uh, manufacturers, distributors, pharmacies, everyone involved in uh, the opiates. Um, so the latest news, two, two things to update you. Uh, one, I'd already uh, posted a video explaining that three of the larger uh, manufacturers, including Johnson & Johnson, um, had tentatively settled with states. And uh, one of the states, Nevada, just uh, rejected that settlement. Basically, their position is that it was not sufficient for the damage and the money that they had spent dealing with uh, this crisis. Uh, interestingly, there was a study that was done that showed between 2015 and 2018, the costs, which were borne by the private's, private uh, side of things, was over $600 billion dealing with this crisis. 500,000 people have died of drug overdoses approximately the past 20 years. Uh, Purdue, which was the manufacturer of Oxycontin, uh, run by the Sackler family, they uh, basically filed for bankruptcy uh, to deal with this issue and have presented a plan which was approved by the federal bankruptcy judge, but uh, some of the participants are going to be appealing this. Uh, basically, the family is paying $50 million. They're dissolving Purdue. The new entity will um, not have any of the Sackler family involved. And uh, we go forward from here. Part of the Purdue settlement uh, would be approximately $4.5 billion directed to several of the states and victims of this opiate crisis. The victims would receive between $3,000 and $48,000, but uh, obviously the settlement is not finalized, complete, comprehensive, and we will have more updates as the news break, the news breaks. Thank you. If you have any questions about, maybe you were not involved in the litigation, a family member or you, uh, we're afflicted by opiates. If you have any questions, call me, Greg Goldfarb, at 305-374-7000, and I will assist you in seeking compensation.